People in Eastern Europe and Central Asia were hard hit by the global financial crisis. Social safety nets cushioned the blow, but not for everyone and not for long enough. Unemployment benefits helped three million registered workers who were laid off, but they didn't last through the crisis. Nor did they extend to millions more unregistered workers who lost their jobs and had to rely on social safety nets. Nets bulging with 12 million more poor people. Countries that had good safety nets in place were best able to respond to the crisis. So we're working with countries today to improve their safety nets so they're ready for the next one. It's really hard to build a safety net in the middle of a crisis. So it's important to have them in place in good times so that they're ready for future shocks. Tajikistan had no ways to channel assistance to the poor in the crisis. With support from the World Bank and others, the government is working on a system to identify the poor and provide help to them. In Romania, the World Bank is supporting government reforms to make a comprehensive social assistance system more equitable and efficient. Forma în domeniul asistenței sociale face parte din reforma statului. Ne propunem prin această reformă ca prestațiile, beneficiile de asistență socială și banii să urmeze pe cei care într-adevăr au nevoie. As people live longer and have fewer children, and as workers seek jobs abroad, the labor force is shrinking. Bulgaria will lose over 40% of its workforce by 2050. Countries will need to tap into general revenues to top up their pension funds, and increasingly the elderly will compete with other vulnerable groups for resources. On top of that, governments will need to provide support for growing numbers of informal workers who are not paying into the pension system. Well, the World Bank is working with countries to study the impact of aging on safety nets and on pensions. With limited resources, countries need to ensure that those who really need help will receive it. Part of the solution is ensuring that people who are able to work are working. And social safety nets can be designed to help people move out of dependency into employment. To do so, social safety net systems can link beneficiaries with labor and support services. Countries can tailor social benefits to reduce obstacles to employment and productivity. It's essential for countries to improve social safety nets now, to promote employability and to be ready for crises and demographic changes.